Welcome back Guardians to another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we are going to be looking at my opinion on the three most useful exotic armors in the game but before we get into it make sure you hit that like button so you can get a Galahorn and if you don't you'll get Ascendant Shards so yeah do it. Let's try to get this video to 700 likes guys see if we can hit that total that would be amazing but I just wanted to talk about in my opinion, the three most useful exotics for certain reasons. So all armor gets used on a regular basis in different ways. But I think overall the most useful things, starting with the Warlock. So there's going to be one exotic for each one. And firstly, we're going to talk about the Warlock, which is going to be the Obsidian Mind Helmet. Now this came with the Dark Below, so it's a brand new exotic to that. And when I first saw this helmet before dark below came out i just thought okay this is just a re-ripped version of the old helmet just painted black and i thought it doesn't look that cool but oh my god was i wrong and it's probably the best exotic in the game so it looks amazing it looks cool it looks just brilliant i love it but the perks that it has make it incredible so it has increased his grenade throw distance which isn't nothing major but you know it's not anything to sniff at we have increased super energy gained from killing minions of the darkness. Now this is going to be very very important with the next perk. So this means that when you're in a darkness area you'll get increased super energy while you're, get, while you're killing minions. The main perk for this weapon, weapon, armor is called insatiable. Nova bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next nova bomb. So usually when you use a super you can't carry on building up your super energy until your super has run out. The Obsidian Mind just bypasses that completely, where you can fire a Nova Bomb at someone or something or multiple enemies, and you will gain part of your white bar back towards your next Nova Bomb. The brilliant thing about this is that if you're in a darkness area and you hit, I think it's about 8 to 10 enemies with one Nova Bomb, you will instantly get another Nova Bomb. This works exceptionally well in the Crota Zen Raid in the Thrall Room at the start. So when all the frows are running that, you bang, Nova Bomb the floor. You're going to get another Nova Bomb instantly for the next set of frows that come. It makes getting through that area incredibly easy. Not only is it beast in PvP also, because if you hit two or three enemies on a control point, you're pretty much straight back up to your next Nova Bomb, which is just so, so good. Um, I absolutely love this helmet. I think it's the best exotic in the game. That's why I thought I'd open out strong with it. And then I think... The other two are more opinion based from me. So let's move on to the next one, which is for the Hunter. So for the Hunter, I go with the Acleophage Symbiote. This is the one thing that I use the most on Hunters. Now, obviously, it depends on what subclass you use because I use the Don't Touch Me's when I'm running around as a um, Blade Dancer. But for most of the time, I'm using my Gunslinger class. And the Acleophage Symbiote has increases grenade throw distance as well. Replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade. This, in my opinion, is hit or miss. I like this, but I also don't like it because I don't use... Well, I use trip mines, but I always kill myself with them. So I tend to use the ones that split up and follow people. So that is a pretty useless perk for me. But the last man standing perk, which is the main perk for this helmet, is that your golden gun gains one additional shot per use. Now, if you've used the golden gun, you know that you get three shots of it and then it runs out. With this helmet, you get four shots. And if you set your class up right, you can use this to get multiple penetration shots and cause enemies to explode. With four shots, and you get a lot of enemies grouped up, you can wipe out easily ten enemies if they're all close impacted together. Very, very useful. And that extra shot comes in handy for like an ultra. So say you're shooting an ultra and you've shot the three bullets. The fourth bullet will kill him. Whereas if you didn't have the helmet, you would be you'd have to change back to your um, gun. So if you're shooting a single target, that extra bullet always helps. But if you're spamming it and you want to get like multiple enemies, it really does help also. And in PvP, who doesn't want an extra shot with the golden gun? Golden guns are incredibly overused as as a PvP super. And if you've got high intellect to make it roll back round really fast. This helmet helps you get extra kills, fire extra bullets, put extra pressure on enemies. So all round, in my opinion, the most useful Hunter Exotic. And as I say, this is my opinion. And then last but not least, we have the Titan. Now, I was kind of in the middle here between the MK44 standardsides and the Ruin Wings. Now, my argument for the MK44 standardsides is that Shoulder charging people or kneeing people is so 
much fun. And in PvP, I don't think there's any other exotic which is better than the MK standardsides because you can charge up your supercharge, supercharge, shoulder charge for longer, meaning you have more chance of one hit killing enemies. It's very, very cheesy. It's very, very overpowered. And the MK standardsides help with that, but they don't do much in PvE. So the room wings all around. You see, this this is a very. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna call it. I'm gonna say both. So with the MK44 standard sides, we get increase the amount of heavy weapon ammunition you can carry. Um, be somewhere else. Increases the duration. Shoulder charge remains active. You know, exotic legs aren't that great for just in general, but for PvP, these are awesome and they do a lot of damage. And it's a lot of fun. I, I, this makes me have fun in Crucible is to wear these and run around kneeing people or shoulder charging people. For the Ruin Wings, I believe they're most important in PvP. Um, if you don't want to do like, if you don't do an ammo glitch or whatever, they really do help in raids, in even nightfalls and such things where you, you might get some purple ammo to drop. And then with these perks, you get special weapon load that increases the reload speed of all special weapons. Impact induction, causing damage with a melee reduces your grenade cooldown. But Seeds of Ruin, the main perk for these is heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop. So your heavy ammo purple packs will hit the floor a lot more frequently. And when you pick one of them up, you get more than you would if you didn't have the Ruin Wings on. So Crota's End, if around the crystal you kill loads of enemies, you can pick those up sparingly and get more ammo for your Galahorn to be able to shoot Crota. So I believe... If you're going to do it completely legit, Ruin Wings are amazing for raids, PvE type things. And MK44 standard sides are the king of PvP in my opinion. And these are my opinion guys. Feel free to leave comments about what you think is the most useful exotics for you across all three characters. You know, hit that comment section hard guys. Hit that like button even harder. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.